Oh, I've scared him off. Big fat chunky raven. It was right cool. Or she. There's another one over there. Oh, it's a couple. Or just mates. I don't know. Right, chunky. Could take on a seagull, that lad. Oh, lass. Damn it, I wanted to take a video of you. Stay still. Cool. Even more ravens. Look, there's one over there. Conspiracy of ravens. I think they're ravens. They're not crows because they've got more... Uh, con uh, not Concord. Jet fighter noses. Right, good. Odin's birds. Yeah. Sweet. Three ravens. Cool stuff. Good morning again. Dawn of the... Fifth day. Three days remaining. Should have some mates coming over tonight and tomorrow as well. So that'll be good. But for now, I'm going to go try and get an haircut. Get some cash out. And some more bread. And some more potted meat. I'm not going to drink as much today. Need to save me more. Uh, here's to the town. Ah, bend my mouth. Barclays is shut. And the car doesn't work in normal ATMs. And the barbers are shut as well. So, not been very productive today. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk to the end of the East Pier. Might read a poem. A bit less disturbing poem. I'm not going to go for a pint. Got a couple of beers in the cottage. And then I'm going to go up to Abbey and tell you a story. Um, in audio form, because my teleprompter didn't work. So, see you in a bit.
this is the mini lighthouse. That's as fair as his big lighthouse, which apparently does lighthouse tours and ghosts. Might return at night to read your ghost stories from the lighthouse. But as far as today goes, I'm just walking to the edge of the sea. Because as you know, I love it. I am one of those mad people who would actually live in a lighthouse and not just like, oh, I like the aesthetic. It's just like, no, I would actually like to live in a lighthouse. I think it would be mint. Alright, if I'd just be next to the sea, so I'd be right happy. These, what you can see here, were harbour rope uh, ratchets. Is there a preserved one over there somewhere? Yeah. You can't really see it. That thing that looks like a Dalek knockoff, what the people have removed. That were one. And then there is actually one behind the rocks on that side. You used to put like a, an oar through it or a bit of wood. And these ratchets, as you can see, they go whoop, lock, whoop, lock. And they used to use them with those pulleys over there to wheel in boats, like rope them in. So there'd be one rope down there. It would used to went to go around a spindle here, and then over this one here as well. Uh, it's not been used for probably about 150 years, maybe 100 years. When it were an active harbour port. But yeah, this bridge is new. This didn't used to be here. In fact, for a long time, uh, this jetty here uh, didn't connect to there. It did, like when I were a toddler. I remember going over it when I was like eight or summer, maybe six. And it's been disconnected for years and now they've just uh, built a new bridge so I can go right to end. So, to the ends of the earth again, but slightly from the right this time. East Pier. Or is it the South Pier? That, if you follow that along enough, you get to Hull and if you keep going down, and around Britain, like Kent, you will eventually get to London. So this, this is south, this is north, that goes up towards Newcastle and Middlesbrough. This one goes south. But here we go, phone is about to die again, unbelievably so. Whoa, health and safety can't be good with that. Have you seen the state in it? Look at that. It's easy eating right fruit, steel, and wood. And that ladder. Can you imagine falling in and be like, oh god, I can't get up. The ladder's rotted away, way, way. Don't attempt to be Frodo. I don't actually want to jump in. I just I just love how awe-inspiringly destructive and I don't give a fuck this is. Just like no matters, absolutely nothing. Maybe a nuclear bomb will make a bit of difference. But it's just like, oh, have you heard about this political bollocks? Oh, Keir Starmer, Boris Johnson, Rishi Sunak, Donald Trump, Joe Biden. Oh. Oh, sorry, I nearly fell asleep and fell in the sea. Where all of our human crap means nothing. Honestly, contempt. Look at it, it's gorgeous. No, Mark, stop! It's beautiful, though. It's beautiful. Fucking look at it. You got a raging hard on for the sea, Mark? No. 
could write a poem actually about how the sea is a beautiful woman. But I think I'd be joining the, the ranks of a trillion other sailors and poets over time. So, to the Red Lighthouse. And I'm pretty sure oh, my phone is going to be dead before I get to radio, but I'll uh, edit it in post. I think the phone's dead constantly. There's barely any signal. And it, uh, like, it's dead constantly because I'm videoing so much. Video takes up a lot of battery. I mean, editing and rendering the video takes up a lot of battery. And then... Uh, And the signal's just garbage. I can just about get through like instant messages after about 30 seconds loading. But video and picture, forget about it. There's like a good spot in the centre of town, but it's not near cottage. I bet this is windy as chuff. This recording, I've just realised that it's windy. But oh well, say lovey. The Red Tower. It's been at war, staring out his opponent, the Green Tower, since before time was even recorded. Man didn't even build these. We built the piers to get to them. Some say it was ancient aliens. I just think it's a couple of gods die stuck in the uh, glass tabletop of the game. Are you going to fight then, or what? Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Pottering about doing out, except for looking at the sea. It's a fresh air. We've had a good 10 minutes staring at it. Now I'm heading back, I'm going to go up there. And I won't have enough time to video record it, but 10% battery left. But if my audio recorder will allow, I'll loop a static bit of footage of the Abbey um, to the patron saint of Yorkshire story, as I tried to do about a month or two ago. Uh, and I might use Mid Journey to replicate artwork for it, cut that over the Abbey footage. The story starts at the Abbey. About our patron saint in Yorkshire that not many people know exists. Anyway, toodle back up the stairs I go. Just as we're crossing it, this is the uh, keeper shop, and the smell is absolutely overpowering. See, uh, you can see it smoke coming out. That is kippers being smoked, and the smell is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. My granddad, Erd, used to love uh, kippers from here. Uh, 
sadly he's gone now, he's gone about 14 years, but I always remember getting him kippers from that kipper shop. Yeah, can't be bothered going up to Abbey to read you a story. I'll do it tomorrow morning if I'm awake, which I should be. I was up far too late last night. Uh, but I might nip for a little, little tiny, little tiny pint on my way home, but just the one. What do you want? Was late 65 at the old Balsy Yard. She was commissioned to haul the black tar. Built the Northumbria there on the bar. Roll Northumbria, roll. For when the Egyptians they closed the Red Sea, the call came on high from the powers that be to build a royal monster right down on the quay. Roll Northumbria, roll me boys Roll Northumbria, roll Carpathia, vengeance, celestial call She was the tanker to outsize them all From the banks of the Mersey to the port of Halal Roll Northumbria, roll And fair princess Anne threw a bottle of wine and watch as the giants set down in the tide What lay ahead could no mortal divide Roll Northumbria, roll me boys Roll Northumbria, roll And it's one for the huts on above Two for the empire 